Today for sale is a ScanSnap S510 in mint condition. Let me give you a tour. This has a flap that comes up like that. This becomes your document feeder. You notice you can change the size of the document by doing that. Oops. And uh, if you would like to uh, just leave this tray up, you can. And when you send paper through it, it will come through the machine here and it will come out on the bottom. Otherwise, you can flip this down and it will come through and then rest like that. In addition, there is a flap here that can come out. And you can see how that would work. So depending on your scan needs and how you like it, you can set it up to work for you in the way you like. Now, if you need to get inside the machine, let me show you how to do, to do that. There is a silver button right here. You pull it up and towards you and then just bring this forward. And now you can get into the machine. And you can see how that looks. You can see one of the Okay, so now let's put it back together. You just kind of push it like this and you can push it in, flip it up. And this is how it is stored on your desk. On the back, you can see that you have a power place for power here. And it comes with a the original power supply. And over here is your USB and it will come with a USB cord also to attach to your computer. You can see here the model number S510. You can also see the serial number 303705 and you can see when it was manufactured and all that sort of stuff. All right, now let's show you what happens when you are actually going to use the scan snap and how it works. Okay, let me show you how to scan now. Uh, what you're going to do is take some paper and we're going to put it in as so. Press the scan button. Now let's say I want to continue scanning. I have something now for color. Just in here. And press scan. And after you do that, you're going to come here and you're going to say finish scanning. And uh, scan to folder, or scan to email, or scan to print. Well, we'll choose scan to folder. And we're going to save it uh, just with a document name of Y. <laughs> and then uh, hit uh, save. And it says it was saved and OK. Uh, then we're going to go to that folder, computer, public, and Y is the one that we just saved it as. And you can see that second, first side or first back side, second back side, and then you have your Netflix. And that's how it works. Down here in the far right 
corner you have this little S that's the scan snap manager program and you can uh, change some settings by right clicking it or you can double click it and you can choose all of this you can go to file options paper size compression those are all the settings that you can adjust on the scan snap software after you do that you're going to come here and you're going to say finish scanning and uh, scan to folder or scan to email or scan to print well, we'll choose scan to folder and we're going to save it uh, just with a document name of Y <laughs> and then uh, hit uh, save and it says it was saved and OK. Uh, then we're going to go to that folder, computer, public, and Y is the one that we just saved it as. And you can see that second, first side or first back side, second back side, and then you have your Netflix. And that's how it works. Okay, it's going to come with uh, the ScanSnap original CD-ROM. Uh, this is good for Windows XP and uh, Windows Vista and then if you want to use it on Windows 7 it works great you need to load this driver that's on here first and then it's called the ScanSnap Manager and then after that I have also the disk downloaded you can get this free <coughs> also on the uh, Fujitsu website but I will send this also and you install these drivers to update the, the original drivers and then it works great on Windows 7